Hey guys, what's going on? Adam Snyder here with Home Entrepreneur. So today I want to show you 10 items that I've sold over the past month, month and a half, something like that, um, that have, that were very profitable. Uh, it's not like I bought, you know, I went very deep on any of this stuff. Um, a lot of these I only got like one, maybe two items, but there is one item that I sold that I did very well on. Um, so I'm going to show you that in just a second. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. So here's the first item. This first item, I bought this item for $1.99 and it was in like new condition at a Goodwill store. It was in like new. It still had the, the packaging on it. So technically it probably was a new item, but because it the, the wrap on it looked like it, it had been ripped a little bit and it was, it was very scuffed up obviously from sitting at a Goodwill. Uh, but I bought this for $1.99. I think I sold this one for like $120, $125. Um, so as you can see in you in used condition, I probably could have got more for it if I would have held off, but I didn't. No big deal. Twenty-three thousand books, which is very good. Here's another book that I bought. Uh, this one was in, I think this one was in good or very good condition. No, yeah, this one was in very good condition. Bought this again for a dollar ninety-nine. I think this one was at a Salvation Army um, store. Um, so yeah, I bought this for $1.99. I think I sold this one for like $94, $94, dollars something like that. Um, let's see rank on this one. 18,000 books, so another really good one. Textbooks did really well for me this year. Obviously because I actually sold more of them. Um, here's another one. This one, I actually bought it new. So I bought this one brand new from a student. Um, the student... I'm trying to remember, but I think this this particular book, I think I bought this one for ten dollars from a student, um, and I think I sold this one for ninety, probably anywhere from eighty to ninety dollars. Um, what's the rank on this one? Fifteen thousand books. Um, so I I probably could have got more, probably could have got a little bit more if I would would have held out, but I didn't. I was just trying to get the sale. No big deal. Here's something I was actually uh, pretty excited to get. Um, so this one, the Makita drill set, has the impact driver and the drill, battery, charger. Uh, this is something that I actually picked up. I picked up three of these. Um, one I kept for myself, only because I had some stuff I needed to hang around the office, had some stuff I needed to do uh, at home, so I kept one for myself. Um, and I bought these for $79 at Home Depot. Uh, they were clearancing these out, which I don't know why, but they're they're clearancing these out. Uh, so I bought three for seventy nine dollars, sold two of them, and I think I sold two of them for like two sixty nine. So what I, I'm pretty sure that's what I sold it for. So um, let's see what's the rank on these. These are probably pretty good. Fourteen thousand home improvement. I'm not sure why they, the store was actually clearancing these out because any other store I've gone to these are full price at Home Depot and I think at Home Depot they sell these for I think it's $249 and I think that's even their sale price so be on the lookout for those um, tools usually do really well for me um, here's another thing this I actually bought from a, a Lowe's store uh, I bought six of these I think it was six I bought six of these and I paid uh, 17 something for these um, and I think I sold these for $59.99 so these ones they did pretty well sold out of all these 9,000 home improvement um, DeWalt stuff drill bits this is something that I never see even even when I run into another reseller and they're a actually at Home Depot scanning something or Lowe's they're always scanning the clearance stuff and I I recommend to all my clients, anybody here on YouTube, you know, even somebody that or ask me a question over on Facebook, scan the stuff that is not on clearance. Scan the, scan the stuff that maybe you know just recently marked down. Maybe it's a new price. Maybe it's a sale item. Scan that stuff because there are some things out there like these, these drill bits, that you can find for very cheap. This is something that. It was just a printer, so let me remind you, it's just a printer. I didn't sell it with the, the bundle, toner, cartridge, all that stuff. Sold just a printer. I bought this for $19.99, brand new, still in the box, at Goodwill. I bought this for $19.99. It, it was, obviously, it was a bigger item, um, a little bit more to ship, 
So 769. I had to ship this by itself. Yes, I shipped this by itself. So it was just this item. Uh, I put this in a large Home Depot box and sent it off. I think this item cost me, I think it was like $18 to ship this. Um, so it wasn't too bad. Like I said, paid $20 to buy this. $18 to ship it. So I was in at $38. And I sold this, I think for, for $184. Um, I believe it was like 184 um, but yeah it is what it is now I see uh, Amazon selling it at the time Amazon wasn't selling it there's some other person selling it um, and they were like right around there so yeah here's another thing I got so this item right here I actually picked up 30 of these so I picked up 30 of these in so I picked up uh, it's like 17 in this color in small and I think I sold them for $30 I'm pretty sure I matched Amazon um, so I, I sold them for $30 and then I picked up I think there was like 10 or something in this color in medium and so those did really well Calvin Calvin Klein um, thongs pack of three um, it's a rank 974 in clothing so yeah, so that one was pretty good. Here's another one, um, the Schlag. This is a electronic lock. Um, this one, I actually sold sold this one before in brass, and this one got returned to me because they actually wanted this one, which is like uh, nickel or antique pewter. So they actually wanted this one, but they ordered this one. So they sent this one back um, after they opened it and all that, so I had to sell it and uh, used. But I ended, I ended up getting this, and I ended up getting one of these. I think I bought it for $29.99 a piece, uh, or $29.93 a piece at a Home Depot. Um, like I said, this one got returned, and so then I had to sell it in, in used condition. No big deal, it did eventually sell. And this one sold, brand new condition, sold fairly quickly as well. Um rank on that 10,000 home improvement so here's one this uh, risk board game um, this one I bought a goodwill I think I paid 499 for this one and this one was in brand new condition um, even in used condition I've seen these um, but it was missing pieces so uh, the one that I saw it was actually missing was it missing I think it was actually missing the cards. So those cards, you know, those like two bigger things down below, I think that's what it was missing. And so I didn't end up picking up uh, in, in used condition, but in new condition, obviously, I would pick it up any day, especially for $4.99. Uh, what's the rank on it now? 3,000 toys and games. So great rank. <clears throat> Here's another one. This is a universal remote. Um, this is something I like to I like to dabble in remote controls only because you can make some good money. I picked this up, brand new condition. This item right here, okay, it's actually a pretty cool remote. Picked this up, brand new for nine ninety nine at a Goodwill store in actually I think downtown Seattle. Um, I picked this up, so there's a Goodwill store right across from like Safeco Field and CenturyLink Field. Um, so I picked that up. For $9.99 obviously they didn't know what they had because as you can see the price even used condition 160 I think I sold this one for like I think it was like 275 or so I think the price was lower um, I don't know 100% but I think it was the ranking is not that good as you can see right here the ranking was not that good but when you compare this when you compare this item to some of the other ones that are similar to it um, you're actually these are horrible pictures anyway but anyway so it's it's sold no big deal but when you compare this item to some of the other items that are very similar to it like the all the logitech the harmony edition uh those are selling for upper 300s even some are in like four or five hundred dollars depending on what what model you get you know like some of these things maybe there's some down here uh, yeah, you know, some of these different ones, they sell for quite a bit. So the the one that one that I got was actually pretty good. 
Oh, those are sponsored. Anyway. Uh, oh, well. Not on there. No big deal. Anyway. So, those are some of the items that I picked up. Just wanted to show you, you know, some 10, you know, really profitable items. You know, like I said, you know, some of these I got ones and twos. This one. This one right here I got one. That one I got one. One. One of these. You know. So, you know, like 30 something. Uh, so, you know, one of these. You know, yeah. If I found five of these, obviously I'd pick them up. You know, these, they actually... Uh, at Lowe's, they only had a couple, and so you know, pick up what you can. Again, same thing. They only had three. If they would have had ten or you know, hundred of these, I would have tried to get a hundred if I could, obviously. Um, so, anyway, that's what it is. If you guys have any questions on some of the things that I bought, um, you know, why I bought it, you know, if you don't 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 ask me how I found this stuff, it's very simple. I went to the store, looked around. That's what it was. Um, this item right here is actually something. Um, I picked up at JC Penney's. Uh, so I picked this up at JC Penney's, bought a raise.com gift card, got a discount of like 23%. Um, so I got a discount of like 23%, and I used a, uh, a coupon. I used a, I went on a friends and family day. So I had the, let's say, 23% off coupon, had a discount of, uh, Ten dollars off fifty every fifty dollar purchase, and I had the friends and family twenty five percent off, I believe. So when you stack the deals, you can make some good money. Doesn't matter whether you're buying women's thongs or you're buying you know drill bits. If you can stack the deals correctly, you can make some good money. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, the Homemade Entrepreneur, click that button. Not on this video, but on the on the actual channel and subscribe to my youtube channel today and i'll see you guys on the next video